why do you think they don't get on? Basically, um, they've both gone in there thinking they're going to be both on their ends, and there's only one could do it. And really, if Colin wants to take the roll over, go ahead and do it. Julia just say, get on with it. It's too much hassle. Do you think um, Colleen went in there to, to kind of be the mother hen? I think Colleen went in there to be herself, and I think that's the difference. Okay. Um, let's, talk, um, let's talk about the hard pie to the face. Let's talk about the hard pie to <laughs> the face. Do you think uh, there was it's really any better. malice? No. What Colleen did? I think, again, Colleen sat on the couch and said, oh, wouldn't it be funny to pie Bet Lynch? She didn't whisper it, as was relayed in the diary room. She didn't whisper it. There was no malice. It was funny to pie Bet. And when she went up and, you know, Julie said in the diary room, with venom, I mean, please, if you have that, show it again. She actually goes up and puts the pie on her face. Yeah. Unlike me. Well, I'd have, you know. <laughs> Uh, why do you think they don't get on? Um, I think Colleen is, is very guarded. Julie has a bad reputation out amongst show business, in my opinion. I've suffered it. Um, and I think that Colleen is aware of that reputation. And so, to be fair to Colleen, she's gone in and she's played it cool. She just doesn't understand the whole, I love you bit. I mean, you know, she loves Jasmine. She was watching her back and two days later she stabbed it. Do you think so? She did, she did. She said, I can't do this anymore. I need this loon away from me. Jasmine heard it. Rian told her. It was all on camera, you know. Uh, what, how, how do you feel about the, the whole thing that happened between um, uh, Rian and Jasmine? I, I just think Julie took over a role there. And what she did between her and Rian, she was just trying to comfort pair of them. Looking she, wasn't both taking, she wasn't taking anybody's side. She okay. was taking, she was taking Jasmine's side, wasn't she, or wasn't she? She took Jasmine's side, she hung out of Jasmine. Every time Jasmine went to the diary room, it was a good chance for Julie to be there, telling her that she loved her and I'll have your back. And then we didn't see it on camera for ages, but she also said to Rian, I'll have your back. Because I think eventually she realised that Jasmine was going to be evicted, and so she thought, well, then I'd better get on with Rian. Do you think, do you think it was a case of... of Think Julie thinking how she might look, or that she just wanted to kind of comfort both of them because Julie just wanted to comfort both. She's that sort of person. Julie is an actual nice person. You've got to know her. And I don't think Colleen understands Julie, to be honest. I think you're dead right. I think she's completely got. <laughs> Not in that context. I think she has completely got Julie. Colleen realizes that she's playing a game. She's playing a fabulous game. She's a great actress, but it's not the Julie Goodyear that, that me and a lot of people in show business and I presume people on your production team have met. Do you think she's playing a game? Are we seeing a character or are we seeing You've Julie? You've seen Julie. You've just seen Julie. And that's why I call, it bet, call her Bet and with her back. You know, does she walk around the house in leopard print? There's leopard print everywhere. <laughs> I think I can believe that, actually. Um, in last night's show, uh, Julie had a lot to say to Colleen during the uh, Home Truths task. Here at Bit in the Side, we have put together um, a director's cut. If I could change one thing about Julie, it would be... to be more honest than I think you're being. Colleen, oh, if I Jesus. could give you one piece of advice, it would be, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen, mm -hmm. your worst personality trait is... Ooh. Go for it, girl. You've got mean eyes. Very mean eyes. <laughs> so the first one was shut the fuck up, and the second one was I've got mean eyes. Shut the fuck up? Where's that come from then? Maybe sometimes she's caught me looking at her and it has been a mean kind of... I've never looked at her meanly. I just look at her sometimes like... <sighs> I don't know. I think we need... You know what it is? I don't know what it is, cos I have not I got a problem with her. No, no, I think, I think what it I is... I feel she's you know got what? a problem no, with me. No. Um, so they
they both don't seem very happy with each other. Um, we touched on on a, uh, a couple of minutes ago what happened with uh, Julie, Rian, and Jasmine. Um, we saw Jasmine um, confront Julie and ask her about it, uh, the problem that she had. Do you think Colleen will at any point confront Julie and ask her outright? What I think, I hope she does, because she's not confrontational, Colleen. She's one of these people that would rather walk away, and I think that's what she's done. She's kept quiet. She isn't sure. She's kept quiet. But now, I think I saw her in the diary room earlier, in the earlier show, and I think she said no holds barred. So hopefully she will ask. She was the only one that went up and told Jasmine how it was when she was awful to Danica. Mm. She went to the boys and said, you need to, you know, curtail your ostracizing Rian. You know, so she's um i think she's honest and she will be true to herself do you think she'll leave it until it's too late and then she will explode or do you think she will stay calm with it well i hope she leaves it till it's too late because when she explodes it's really scary <laughs> it takes a lot but you know i think she's more she's a mature woman she i think i think you know, when they went into the house, they were sitting there, they were having a cigarette together, and it all seemed very nice. Yeah, and, I thought they were going to get on really sudden, well, actually. It was, whatever Colleen said, it was just, Julie just didn't want to know, didn't want to know. And how do you think uh, Julie will deal with it if Colleen does approach her to try and talk about things? She'll handle it very well, Julie. She's an open person, you just speak to her, she'll listen, she understands and she deals with things if it's brought up. So maybe that would be the best thing to do. Well, just and get she'd it probably tell Colin she loves her by the end of it. Uh, she loves everybody. Guys, please give it up for Linda and Scott. Thank you.